Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2018 Peugeot Partner 1.6 Professional, 1.6 HDI diesel, obviously professional. This is the Euro 6 model. So if you're looking at driving it in any of the emission zones, such as Birmingham, Bath, Bristol and London, Ulez, uh, then you're all good. You'll be paying no emissions charges. This is a one keeper from new vehicle. It has covered 96,000 warranted miles. I have to say it's an exceptionally clean condition for the age and the miles. Hopefully you'll pick that up on the video now. Now the purpose of this video is to give you a warts and all video walk around. So we sell an awful lot of our vans by people just watching this video. I will point out the good bits and the bad bits. You make your uniformed your informed, not uniformed, your informed decision about whether you're interested in it or not. Um, but this, this is the vehicle that you will be buying. So let's start up here on the roof. Roof is in good order. It does have a rear LED uh, roof flasher. Uh, if you don't want that on it, we can remove it for you. Just uh, speak to us and uh, we'll take it, uh, take it from there. Looking at your windscreen, the windscreen is in good all-round condition. Uh, there is a stone chip I've noticed just on the top. Can you see it there? Uh, I do not think that is an MOT failure, um, but it is there, so we shall point it out to you. There are no other stone chips, certainly nothing major that I think that is worth worrying about on there. Coming down onto your bonnet, the bonnet is in good all-round condition as well. Uh, minor, minor stone chips. This is what we're talking about, these little minor little ones here, okay? We will go around it with a touch-up stick before it goes out the door and just touch in anything that we can see, but there's certainly nothing major there that is particularly derogatory to the vehicle for the age and the miles. Looking at the front of the vehicle now, the reason why we have to cover over the front number plate, I try and do it on everything. The ones that I haven't, you'll see they've got blurred photographs, uh, uh, <laughs> blurred registration numbers. Um, people are stealing the registration numbers while they're on the forecourt, cloning the vans, basically, so that's why we do it. Anyway, I digress. Here's the front grills, front of the front bumper, all in good condition, uh, no cracks, no damage. Your passenger side headlamp unit, that is also in good condition. And your passenger side front bumper corner, that's in good order with no scuffs. If we have a look down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, whilst I'm down here, you will see, hopefully, there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. It is, as I say, this van, is exceptionally clean and tidy for the age. Uh, here is your driver's side headlamp unit, that's all good. And your driver's side front bumper corner, again, all good, no scuffs. Again, let's have a look down the side of the vehicle on this side, and there are no dents or dings to point out to you, very straight and tidy. Coming around to your driver's side front wing, all good, no damage, side repeater is where it should be. We have a factory steel wheel with a factory hubcap and a budget tire on there. We have damage to the hubcap there, and we have a very good tire fitted. As you can see there, I would suggest that's seven to eight millimeters on the tire. So all looking good. Have a look at your wheel arch. Pretty nice and clean and tidy under there. Your driver's side mirror unit is good, both front and back and the mirror itself. And then your driver's side door glass. Again, nice condition. No scratching on the glass. Have a look at your alignment of your doors to your wing and your rear quarter. Everything lines up as it should. Have a look at your door edges as I bring the camera down. You can see very clean and tidy. No damage to your door edges. Getting down low, looking at your seals. The seals are in good condition with no damage either. And then your side uh, protective strip. Black plastic. Again, all good, no damage. Rear quarter, let's get a good overview of it from the back here. As you can see, good condition. No damage to point out to you either. Upper, lower, it's all very neat and tidy. Um, driver's side, rear steel wheel, factory hubcap. You've got a Falcon tyre on there, and that tyre, again, loads of tyre tread depth on there. I'd suggest that's recently been replaced, about nine millimetres. Again, look at your arches, all very neat and tidy. Hang on, what have we got there? Is that a stone? No, that's a bit of tar, I think, going on there. Yeah, so we'll get that off for you. 
driver side from the roof looking down as you can see there is a nice shine to the paintwork as well you got a nice reflection coming off it but all in good order driver side rear light unit's good driver side rear bumper corner all good no scuffing as we come around to the back end of the vehicle we've got like a 60 40 split on the rear barn doors overall good condition we have sorry as i bring the camera back have a look at your alignment of your doors those all align properly as you would expect high level brake lights all good door edges as we bring the camera down all pretty good so we have a little bit of a ding there that is almost standard on them so if you close the doors in the incorrect procedure and close one before the other you'll uh, the hinge will hit it there and damage it We've got a bit of glue residue there that will come off as it will on there as well that's glue residue as is that so we'll go around it with a bit of tarn adhesive and we've got just a bit of glue residue here it's obviously had sign writing on it so we'll go around it with a tarn adhesive get rid of all those marks off it for you but overall as you can see pretty neat and tidy isn't it rear bumper with reverse parking sensors all looking good rear door handle and lock all good and then opening up the back of it we have as you can see the caged half bulkhead these two seats here will fold down and give you additional load length into the front of the cabin your ply lining in the back of it is in good it's done a job but it's in exceptionally clean condition just have a look at the paintwork around here you can see how neat and tidy that is the paintwork around the edges here hardly a mark on it gives you, just shows you how clean or how little work on the inside this is van has done paintwork on your arches again very clean and tidy as are the plastics on the side there and then internal of the rear doors again very very clean and tidy as well on both of those you know quite often whilst there are marks on these quite often you'll see them with loads of these are like made of paper mache let's face it and they're all like bashed and damaged and whatnot but this one all looking pretty good passenger side rear light unit that's a cobweb i thought it was a crack but it's actually a cobweb rear light unit's all good passenger side rear bumper corners all good with no scuffs having a look down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle again all straight and tidy your upper quarter this side's all good your sliding door rail all looking good in here is your fuel filler which is lockable and your add blue filler and then your rear quarter this side all looking neat and tidy as well factory steel factory hubcap minor marks on the hubcap as you can see a falcon tire so that's exactly the same as the other side and i'd suggest those were changed uh, together because they're very similar on tire tread depth i'd suggest those have recently been done side loading door again look at how it all aligns up to the panels around they all line up nicely your lower sills all good the protective strip down the side all good with no damage passenger door handle and lock are all good sliding door handle all good sliding door opens and slides back nicely and holds into place nicely and then look at your entry sills and plastics those are in clean condition as are your door shuts hopefully you can see we do valid them to a decent standard just another viewpoint of the back of the van here obviously these seats have never been folded down because there's no damage to the also certainly very little they can be to the back of them where stuff's been lying on top of them opening up the passenger side door door card is tidy no real damage to it inside your door cards all good door shuts on the front here again very clean and tidy as are your entry sills and then your carpet in the front always looks dirtier on the video camera than it does in real life in real life look at the photos looks nice and black like the x-ray vision of the iphone camera doesn't help us motor traders does it um glove box 
Uh, we've got a little bit of white residue on the dash there. Not quite sure what that is. Might be where there's been a sticker there before. So I think a bit again, a bit of tar and adhesive on there. But actual fact, really tidy again inside. It's our price board up there, but you can see on the seats very tidy indeed and again on the video the seats look dirtier than what they do in real life they have been valeted um it's weird weird iphone stuff passenger door glass mirrors okay minor little scratch on the black plastic there but all good mirror glass all good and the door itself all looking good as well as is the wing side repeater factory steel a knackered edged on the hub cap there but actual fact still looks pretty presentable to be quite frank with you falcon tire on there so i'd suggest it's had three falcons on it at the same time at some point but the van as you can see it looks really respectable doesn't it right just quickly round to the passenger side passenger side that'll be the driver's side simon Driver's side door card, again, very neat and tidy, very little wear and tear. Same with the entry points on this side as well. Same with the flooring on this side. Pedal rubbers are all good. We have electric mirrors. We have electronic stability program on the right. In the middle, we have your parking sensor off button. To the left of that, we have your interior alarm sensor off button. And then just below that on the left is your headlamp levelers. All your vents are working fine. You have additional storage in here as well. Steering wheel still has the factory texture on it. So it's not worn through or anything. Driver's side seat, a little bit of fur on the seats. A little bit of furry wear. It's not a big deal. The seats all still look respectable and they're not falling to pieces or anything like that. If we turn the van on, so ignition on tells us we need a service in 1200 miles so we'll get that service for you before it goes out the door does a systems check just tells us that the oil is okay on it and then it's just ticking over now we've just got warning lights to say the handbrake is on i don't have my seat belt on and the doors are open 96,627 miles your instrument binnacle is nice and clear it's not scratched it's not got loads of dust on it <laughs> excuse me um to the left here oh to the right i should say crikey um, your uh, wipers, windscreen wipers, we have volume and search controls for your stereo. And then on this side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And then to the left above that, we have your lights, side lights, main lights, turn your rear fog lamps on, twist it that way. Then you get all your lights on on there to say that you've got them on. Again, vents here, all good. Now this one's quite nice. You've got Apple CarPlay and mirror link, but you have also got a factory sat nav on this one as well. And then if we go back to menu, go to your radio media, and we have DAB, FM, and AM as well. So that's all looking pretty nice, isn't it? Loads of stuff. This is a really funky touchscreen system on here. Really nice setup. Um, that you, obviously you have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music with it. Um, so really nice. Uh, and then obviously you've got Apple CarPlay and Mirrorlink. Uh, air conditioning, we've all needed that this summer, haven't we? Electric windows, uh, each side, 12 volt power, central locking for the back of the van, central locking for the whole van, hazard warning lights. Five speed manual gearbox, reverse gear is back and towards you, and that engages your park distance pilot on there as well. Uh, handbrakes just in the centre here. Uh, and as I say, you've got additional storage above your head. And should we just quickly pop open the bonnet? I should have done this earlier quickly show you under the bonnet as you can hear ticking over nicely bonnet opener is there fuse box battery brake fluid dipstick oil filler coolant is there there's no contamination in it and it's the correct kind of coolant for citron windscreen wash really nice and clean and tidy under this bonnet as well and there we go. So to one keeper from new, 96,000 warranted miles, top of the range, Peugeot Partner 1.6 HDI, professional Euro 6 model. Um, 
there are 60 to 70 photos of it on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews both on our own website, Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. We're on all of those as well. Uh, any queries, give us a call. And thanks for looking at the video. There's 15 minutes of your life. You're never going to get back there. However, if you are interested in buying it, hopefully I've given you a good overview of the van. And as I say, a lot of people will buy off these videos and just get it delivered or come and collect. So have a consideration of that. Thank you very much. Cheers.